Hey YouTube, what's up? I have my new shirt on. I finally got those fuses from AliExpress. Uh, I guess whenever I first signed up for the account, I might have fat fingered it on my phone and that's why it was taking forever to get verified. Luckily, I figured it out somehow and re-signed up for an account and ordered some new fuses. I did find some other ones on there and I ordered those as well, so I spent a total of four whole dollars. And uh, I got four different kinds. I got, well, we'll just open it up real quick. Okay, so this is what I got from China. It doesn't really tell you, unless you can read Chinese, of what all that is. I don't, I can't. Um, but there's four different kinds in here. So let's open it up and see what we got. So these are these little tiny, tiny glass fuses. 0.5 amp, 1 amp, 1.5 amp, and 2 amp. Just to see how close they are. Maybe they're all the exact same. I have no idea. So that's what I'm here to find out. So uh, let me open one of these up here. Now if you can or cannot see that, I don't know. It, it kind of resembles a resistor, but it's got a little glass tube on there with the fuse inside. Maybe I'll put this on a piece of white paper. Maybe you'll be able to see it better. Okay, well, I guess you can see it a little bit better. I don't know. I guess really the only way to find out if it is or isn't what it is or something, uh, we'll go ahead and test it. But those interested in measurements... The wiring that hangs off the side are 0.43 millimeters. The glass measures in at 2.7 millimeters. All right, let me uh, solder these up and we'll get to it. Uh, one other thing I was going to, I guess, show you real quick that I, I made myself one of those um, solder fume extractors with a uh, tube that I had and some plastic, uh, I don't know, kind of like Tupperware containers inside here. I have a bunch of that carbon filters that they use for the solder fume extractors. And this is one of those server fans that I used in the last uh, Freebie Friday video that has a crap load of thrust on it. Anyway, I just, of course, cut a hole in it and glued it to this fan. And then I have a, a round piece at the bottom right before the, the fan. And then I just chopped up a bunch of little pieces and then put one more bigger piece in there. So that'll hopefully uh, get rid of most of the fumes. And of course, if I ever need to change the filter, I can. And then I just put one more on this side for, for the hell of it, basically. Um, I know this isn't the best, of course. Uh, the best would have a, a HEPA filter on the end here, which I don't have yet, but I do plan to get. I just haven't gotten one yet. So I just threw this together the other day for uh, the preparation for whenever I start soldering all the packs together. And of course, I just suck it all out with this. And I have it hooked up to just a 12 volt uh, laptop power supply. Uh, yeah, that was about it. Just a solder fume extractor. I'll go ahead and plug it in and it gets kind of loud, but it seems to work pretty good. Even though it's going through all that um, carbon filter, it's got quite a bit of air on this back side. Okay, so let's solder. It sucks it in there really good, actually, if you can see that or not. Okay, so this first test, I'm going to start, of course, with the bigger one, which is the 2 amp bus bar that I'm using is the twisted 14 gauge. Uh, I'm going to attempt on the 3 volt rail first, uh, and we'll see what happens. Corn tech. Okay, that is 1 amp. Okay, I'm going to move my nail here. That is almost 3, it's about 2 or 3 quarters there. Okay, there it is, whoops, four amps. That's about two and a half volts right there too. Okay, I of course didn't get to see it, but it was probably, what, four amps? That was a pretty good test, I think. Two more for consistency. Okay, I'm gonna start this one just a tad bit higher. Arm check. Alright, okay, this next test is still the 2 amp, but I'm going to try it on the 5 volt rail. Arm tech. Okay, 
Okay, I believe that was a very successful test there. Okay, this next test is on the 12 gauge twisted pair. I don't think the bus bar is going to matter a huge amount with these type of fuses, but these were just the next ones I had in line. And these are the 1.5 amps. And I'm going to just go ahead and start on the 5 volt rail. Horn tech. Oh, did I already pop it? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, I didn't get to see it. Okay, next test. I'm gonna start just a little bit higher if I can here. Right at three amps. Okay. Okay, next test is still the 1.5 amp, and I'm gonna try it on the three volt rail. And I'm gonna try to start it just a little bit higher. Corn tech. Okay, okay, next test is the one amp and it is on the 12 gauge twisted pair and I'm gonna do the three volt rail to start with. Run tech. Okay, of course I wasn't looking. Okay, next test is still the one amp on the 12 gauge twisted pair, and I'm gonna do the five volt row. Contact. Okay, looked like it was about two, two and a quarter maybe tops. Okay, next test is the exact same setup. I'm gonna start at a little bit higher amperage. Contact. Looks to be about two and a half amps, and that was the one amp fuse. Okay, next test is the 0.5 amp, and we are on the 14 gauge twisted pair, and I'm on the three volt rail. Run tech. Okay, looked about two and a half amps. I didn't get to see the voltage. Next test is the 0.5 amp still on the twisted 14 pair on five volt rail. Corn tech. All right, that looked kind of right at two, maybe just like a hair smidge over it, not much. Okay, next test, 0.5 amp on the 14 gauge twisted pair, five volt rail, corn check. Oop, I think that was right at two amps. Okay, this picture is just a size comparison next to one of the quarter watt resistors I've tested in uh, some of the previous videos. And this picture right here, uh, you can see the actual fuse is blown compared to the one above it, which is not blown. Okay, well, that was, um, I'm pretty, actually, I'm really happy with those tests. Yeah, I think I found exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm probably going to go for the half amp or the one amp because I think they were pretty much about the same. Maybe the half amp was just, just a little tiny under the, the other one. Yeah, that was awesome. That's exactly what I'm looking for. The reason I want to use a low amperage fuse like this is because if one battery is going bad, I don't want it to pull down the rest of the pack. I don't want it to have to pull 10, 15 amps to, to pop a fuse wire. So it'll pop that really, really low and I won't have to worry about the rest of the pack coming down. So either one, whichever one I go with, they're, they're both, they both cost the exact same. It was 99 cents for 50. Uh, and I do think there is packs of a thousand on that website and I don't think it was very much So I will probably order at least two thousand because you know, I'm gonna probably blow some messing around 
uh, hooking all these things up. So I'll have a few extra to uh, replace them with, or if I have a complete mishap, then I'll have a couple hundred extra to replace whatever I blew up. Okay, so yeah, if anybody else is looking for fuses like that, I'll leave a link down below. They were from the AliExpress. If anybody else is looking for the carbon filters to either replace their own carbon filter for their solder fume extractor thingy, uh, I'll put a link down below for that too. That one I got off uh, Amazon. Okay, so yeah, tell me what you guys think of these little glass fuses. Otherwise, we will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, um, 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 the glass, me the glass measure, <clears throat> Jesus, um, duh, uh, um, I, um, um, uh, um, um, er, um, what are those? The, um, I want, I want the, I want the batteries. Hey guys, just wanted to say thanks for visiting my channel, and if you liked the video that you just saw, take a look at my channel for some more videos and projects that I have going on. So making some of the past videos, I have noticed some problems I'm having with my cameras, especially in like low light or trying to get up close and personal with something. Basically what I'm saying is the cameras, they're not really doing what I need them to do anymore on this channel. So if you guys like the videos that I'm making here, Maybe you would be interested in helping me purchase a new camera so I can uh, make some better quality videos. And if you do want to do that, I have two links down below. Thanks in advance, and I appreciate everything that you guys do for helping me out.